Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make an easy 3D image transition effect in After Effects, let's begin. First of all I will move my second clip for about 1 second forward like that, cause in the middle we are going to create a transition. Now let's scroll to the very end of the first clip and then duplicate it. Right click on duplicated one, go to time and select freeze frame. Move that froze layer forward and then make sure to cut the ending of it. So now we have a clip and then a still image that we are going to work with. Let's pre-compose that froze layer now. I will rename it to background and then make sure that move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now we will need two images of the cars, so I will scroll and find a good frame and then duplicate the video. Right click on duplicated one and freeze that frame. Move froze layer above background layer and then cut it as well. Let's pre-compose it. I will name it image one and select these both again and then hit OK. Now I will duplicate my second clip, the one I am going to make a transition on and then freeze that clip's first frame. Move that froze layer above background layer and cut it too. Then pre-compose and rename it to image 2. Move it above image 1 layer and then press S on a keyboard and change scale to 50%. Select another image and scale it as well. Now I will randomly reposition those images, maybe first image somewhere up here. And a second one somewhere here. The size of the images are still large, and we will need to resize them but a bit later. First let's create new camera layer. Make sure type is set to 2 node camera and the preset is 35mm and then hit OK. Let's cut camera layer as well and match it your image layer's length. Now select image and a background layers and enable 3D on them. Now select camera layer and expand transform settings. Click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons to create default keyframes and then press U on a keyboard so we can see only those keyframes. Now make sure to drag those two keyframes to the very beginning of a camera layer and then scroll forward something like that and grab a dolly cursor tool. Press C on a keyboard until you see it, or go to camera tools and select it from here. Now with a dolly cursor tool, zoom into your first image like that. To correct the position, grab a pan cursor tool, press C until you see it and then correct the position. You can also grab a pan cursor tool from camera tools right here. It's positioned well, but as I have already mentioned the images are large, so make sure to select that first image and make it smaller in size. Once it's cool to you, scroll forward something like this and then with a pan cursor tool, move the camera on a second image. That image is large as well, let's make it smaller. Now with a dolly cursor tool I will zoom in just a little bit. Looks fine to me, now let's scroll to the end of a camera layer and then with a dolly tool, zoom all the way in like that. If repositioning is needed, grab a pan cursor tool and correct the image. Then make sure to zoom in like that. Also make sure that the last keyframes are at the very end and if you play back the video, you will see that we have a clean transition from the image to the video. Now select all keyframes and hit F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve like mine. Let's quickly check it. Looks fine, but still needs some retouch. First of all we will need to get rid of those black edges. Select background layer and then apply motion tile effect on it. Check mirror edges and then change output height and width to 200. Now scroll to the beginning of a background layer and then apply Gaussian blur effect. Click on blurriness stopwatch icon and then scroll a few frames forward something like this and change blurriness to around 30. That will help us to get rid of a motion tile lines and will make a background blurry on transition. Also let's select background and image layers and enable motion blur on them. Let's check it one more time. Looks smoother and better, but I think I will add something like shadows on the image layers. So let's select first image and apply drop shadow effect on it. I will randomly change the values until it looks cool, so make sure to change it on your wish and don't copy my settings, cause videos are different and my settings may not look cool to you. In my case it looks fine and now I will copy that effect and paste it on another image layer. Note. You can apply any effects on image layers and make them look even better, the main part is done and transition is ready, but it will look even better with the shake effects. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.